Hello, Trills here. In this video, I will show you how to make a tree like this. So, I'm using Blender 2.9, but you can also using Blender version around 2.79 to 2.8. Now, I'm going to activate the sapling tree gen add-ons. I'm going to use these add-ons for making the tree trunks. Over here, I'm just going to type tree on search bar to find the add-ons faster. To use the sapling tree gen, click on the add button or simply press the shift with A button for shortcut. Then choose the curve option, sapling tree gen. After that, you should see a window named sampling add tree on bottom left with the curve object on your scene collection. Now I'm just going to use the option that usually everyone often use, that's branch splitting. I'm not going to explain every single parameter here because that's gonna be a long video but if you want an explanation, you can see the manual in the video description links below. Now I'm just going to do a small adjustment so you can just see what option that affecting the tree trunks. These four options on every section are basically the value levels of your branch splitting settings. The first option is level 1, not level 0 and the fourth is level 4. Because I'm using level 2 on branch settings, I should adjust the first and second option only and change the other's value to 0 or just ignore it. If you want to adjust the branch size or scale, choose the branch growth option. These options are basically the same as the branch splitting level format. If you want to adjust the tree trunks or branch thickness, you can use the branch radius option. If you want to change all of the tree trunks, adjust the ratio values or radius scale. But if you just want to adjust the branch, choose the branch radius ratio. Also, you can check the close tip to minimize the vertex a little bit. It's just closing the tip of the branches. I forgot to do that. But if you uncheck the close tip, the tip of the branches will use the minimum radius values. Before you can color your tree trunks, you have to convert it to normal mesh object. To do that, simply just select your tree trunks, right click on it, then choose the convert to mesh. Or you can just follow the long way like this video. Your tree trunks object is a normal mesh object when the image is inverted triangle. I will color the tree trunks later. Now I want to continue with creating the leaves. Now first make a simple plane. Then I want to name this as base leaves because this mesh is going to be an individual mesh for leaves particle for my tree trunks. Now I want to make the plane displaying a lot of leaf, so I need an image texture material with alpha clip. Here on base color option, press the yellow circle and choose the image texture to change the material color. Before you input or make the leaves image, the image must be in PNG format with transparent background like this. To apply the image.png file, press open below the base color text, find your image.png file, then open image. Now we have to apply the alpha clip on the material. Scroll down to the settings section, on blend and shadow mode, change to alpha clip. On the alpha surface, press the gray circle image near alpha text. Scroll up on the pop-up window, choose the image texture. Then, open the same image.png file before. Now, I want to make more face for these base leaves. Go into edit mode with tab button. I select all of the base leaves vertex with A button. Then, press Shift D to duplicate, press Escape button to snap the plane on default place, 
then press R to apply rotation, then press X to apply X axis only, then type 90 to apply 90 degree rotation. There you go, we finished creating the base leaves. Before we spawn the base leaves on our branches, we need the placement. There is more than one method to do this, but I'm just going to use spawn inside of volume mesh. So first, create a spear or any mesh that have volume. Then you can name it or just leave it. After that, go into the edit mode with tab button. Then cover the branches with the mesh. I recommend you to make more than 2 volume mesh or to not cover too much empty space on the tree trunks. When you have a lot of vertex on your volume mesh, I think it's easier to edit with proportional editing because you have more control over the mesh flexibility. Remember, we just need the volume on this mesh, so we don't have to make it look smooth or something. Alright, now I'm going to make my base leaf spawn placement spawning the base leaf particle. First, open the particle system on your mesh volume for placement you have created before. Then change the emitter to hair particle settings. Activate the advanced. Input how many base leaves amount you want. Now you can just follow the rest. Now this is the important part. On the emit form on source, choose the volume. Now this is the optional part. I just want to make the base leaves have more complexity on the rotation. So I give it the randomize. Now I am going to apply my base leaves on this particle system. So on the render section, render as object, adjust your scale, and choose the instance object, your base leaves. And ignore the object scale because we are using the scale on render as. And of course I want to add more complexity on the scale as well with randomize. If you're done with your particle settings leaves result, you can just go to the modifier and press the convert on particle section. Before joining all of your base leaf part, you have to convert them into a single user object and data first. After that, you can join all of your base leaf part with Ctrl J. If this happened after you joining the mesh, just scroll up or down. Now, I'm going to make a custom normal for my leaves. It will create some sort of shadows. First, create a UV sphere, then scale the UV sphere to cover all of your leaves. After that, cut the UV sphere into half in edit mode. Okay, this should be enough. Then scale it until it cover all of the leaves. I'm just going to rename the spear to normal custom. After you done creating the custom normal, you can hide it. Now select the three leaves, go to modifier, add data transfer. 
choose normal costume on source. Check the face corner data, choose custom normals. This warning text I will fix it later, but now, on the mapping choose nearest corner of nearest face. Go to object data properties, the one with the inverted triangle. On the normal section, check the auto smooth. Now I'm going to apply the data transfer. Click on the down arrow button, then choose apply. There you go, we're finished creating the three leaves. Now I'm just going to add the color for the branch. Well, there you go. This is the result of the simple tree I made. If you want to create another tree with the same technique like this, you should keep the base leaves and the custom normal mesh. Then make a copy of the blender file, so you don't have to repeat all of the step. The rest of the video is just organizing the object data mesh because I'm going to import my tree to my Unity project. Alright, that was all for me, I hope you learned something from this video, and thanks for watching, cheers!